Tickets to Scotland, these are the two kids to do it. We're underway. Nice hands from Mark Duncan immediately. Duncan in the red gloves and the white and black trunks. Kevin Brooks in the black veil Tudor shorts. As we mentioned, Brooks with white for the Dean Riley in his corner. Dinky Ninja corner team, very experienced guys. Oh, good, good left there from, from Brooks. And a right hand. Oh, he's gone! Oh, he's rocked him! Mark Duncan's rocked him! And he's going to pull guard for the guillotine. Is he going to get it? I don't think he's got his hands properly. He might have just here. been better staying up and just finishing him with, trying to finish him off with some punches. I don't think he's got his hands him. locked here. And in a funny way, although you think he's putting the putting the pain on here, he's actually given. Oh, but he's taking the, the top position there. Nice stuff from Duncan. He's giving very, Kevin very Brooks very time. Yeah, it is, but he's giving Brooks time to recover. He might have been better served just trying to strike his way to a finish there. And just as you say that, Steffi tries to get up there and land a left hand. The first time we saw Duncan, I remember remarking that he's got nice hands. And you can see that here. I think he must come from a boxing background. Head kick attempt from Brooks misses. Yeah, it was a bit lethargic from Brooks there. He's clearly still not quite 100%. Seen him win by a beautiful head kick before. He lunges in there. That big left hook is the shot that hurts from Duncan. Duncan of Wishaw MMA, cornered by Stephen McGee and Graham Armstrong. Two fighters themselves. Oh, good exchanges here. These guys are bringing it. Duncan can take it as well. He's been caught with a few and he's taken them. He's just shrugged them off. Good jab. Yeah, nice stiff jab there from Kevin Brooks. FFC are putting on a performance of the night for the grittiest, most impressive amateur display. And I tell you what, both these guys have just made themselves contenders. Mark Duncan's got to be careful he doesn't get carried away here. Oh, good stuff. Because he's being counter-punched. You can see that he's bleeding, and that's because he is, as he's opening up, he's getting caught every single time. And it's easy to... Oh, great oh, right hand. yeah, stiff right hand. And he's telling to bring it on. Oh, Duncan is one tough kid. But he's got to not get carried away, because every time he goes in, he's getting counter-struck. And you don't really notice it so much, because you're looking at the aggressor. Meanwhile, the guy who's on his back foot is doing a lot of damage. Nice jabs here from Kev Brooks. He's settled in a bit of a river. Oh, he's caught him again. Oh, he's caught him again with shot. a lift. Good body shot and Brooks fires back. Oh, I love these guys. Both guys bleeding and both only thinking about standing there and battering lumps out of each other. This is FFC at the Alona Hotel. Nice shot there from Duncan. I've got to say, I didn't expect that. I thought Duncan would have been quite content to stand up there. He was the aggressor. Every single punch that was thrown, he was the one who got off first. But he was being made to pay with counter strikes from the excellent Kev Brooks. And it looks like he's got a nice guillotine. He always seems to be working for that stuff. Oh, we have a fight on our hands here. These guys are fighting not only for a victory, but for the potential chance to train for a whole week. All expenses paid by FFC at Team Curran in the United States. Rob Whiteford in the corner of Kev Brooks will testify how important it is to go and train abroad. Wearing an American... And now he's going for the rear naked, but he's not on. He has to try and get those one of those hooks in, obviously he's got no chance. This is very unorthodox stuff. No hooks in, just yeah, right you're in not, the You're never going to get it. And he comes up and catches up with the right hook. He clearly has heavy hands, Duncan. That much is absolutely clear. Oh, good left. 
Yeah, body kick attempt from Brooks, but he ate a left for his troubles. Big step in. <laughs> and the round finishes oh with a trip. There's nothing in that. That was just a trip. And wow, what a great first round. I've got to say, round of the night. Yeah, absolutely. These guys' faces bloody, bruised, battered, and both well in as hell. Can you tell I'm excited? Oh, I can tell. I'd just love to be able to heal at the corner when I'm saying right now. Because you've got, you, you know, McGee and Armstrong in the corner of Duncan must be thrilled. Although the, the fighter is bleeding and he's taken a bit of a, you know, he's taken some damage. But they must be thrilled with the performance in that first round. Absolutely. Because going into this, you've got to say, the minute you see a dinky ninja fighter, whenever you hear he's Rab Whiteford's prodigy, you instantly think this is Kev Brooks' fight to win. He must have installed him as a as an early uh, favourite for this one, especially being 3-0. and But Mark Duncan has come in, absolutely no concern for who's in, in Kev Brooks' corner. He, he's just not bothered. He's coming here to scrap, to fight. And I tell you, the boy really can do that, can't he, Steph? Yeah, he's game, definitely is game, and that's great to see. A couple of times, Kev, it's Brooks almost like the shots, and, and, and Duncan just said, bring it on. It's, you know, and I don't mean to... to be disrespectful about Duncan's skills here in the slightest, but it's almost like watching, you know, a Lamborghini up against a, a workhorse of a of a truck, if you know what I mean. I mean, Brooks is obviously the polished mixed martial artist, and Duncan is, is just the fighter. And it's I tell brilliant you, to see. Duncan has shown some real good ground skills as well. And absolutely no disrespect to him intended. That jumping left hook he's got is real nice. I'm pretty sure that's what caught Brooks early in the fight. Nice there from Brooks, you see him going yeah, to the body and then the coming body, yeah. high. Like to see him set up that head kick a bit more, maybe throw a couple out to the to the legs, but he's got to watch because Duncan's always there with a counter. Precious <laughs> <laughs> left hook. Love the use of the jab by Brooks. Scoring points all the time. You don't even notice that's happening. The judges will be noticing though, don't you better believe that. Come on, Duncan! Yeah, you're right Come there, on, Steph. Duncan, nice jab. Fucking easy! Fucking easy! A couple Duncan. of feints from Duncan. Oh, that was clever. You see Duncan uh, kind of fake the shot there. Kev Brooks just fires up a teep. That's how you stop that. Come on, Duncan! Oh. And the left hook lands again. But good shot from Brooks. Great shot from Brooks. He hurt Duncan there. Fucking down, Duncan! Come on, Duncan! Duncan attempting, attempting a judo throw here. But Brooks has double unders. Duncan works to change that under over now. Oh, that was straight to the groin. Low blow. Very yeah. unfortunate. Clearly unintentional. Clearly unintentional, but you saw the agony on Brooks' face. I tell you, I really feel for people in that situation, Steph. We've all been there at some point in our lives, but never with a man throwing a full knee to it. Duncan's you know. cornermen are concerned that he's listening to his fans and friends rather than to them, and that's never a good thing. They are trying to, they are screaming at him to ignore the fans. Yeah, at the moment Duncan's fans are certainly calling for the knockout, you know, so for the big shots and I think he's corner quite rightly concerned that he could run out of steam here or he could be just searching for that big shot and be susceptible to Brooks picking him off. It's the second time he's been successful with that. Although Brooks does well to go straight back up to his feet. Oh, where did that knee go? <laughs> that looked close. A nice knee built to the body in response from Brooks. Brooks working a guillotine, possibly. Or maybe just trying to get some, some separation there. Oh, a nice trip. Real nice inside route from Duncan. He, his style when he stands up seems like a, a bit of a brawler, Duncan. But then when he goes to the ground, you see this poison panache he's got. It's, it's great to see. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's got sk better skills on the ground than he maybe kind of gives away when he's on his feet because he looks like such a brawler. Not the case at all. Nice separation from Kev Brooks. Both guys willing to stand in the pocket and trade here. <laughs> he just tells him to bring it. Kevin Brooks is too smart to get involved in that though and that's what makes a mixed martial artist he's too smart to get involved in a come on then let's throw down he, has, he wants to win the fight that's what he's here to do nice shot there from Brooks oh nice jab again and he's caught yeah, with a wee Brooks is working his combos down I love these guys so much 
Duncan baiting him there, trying to get him to, to throw. He's got to watch though, Brooks has a massive head kick. I've seen him plant a guy with that before. Oh, that's a risky takedown and he does really well. Risky attempt, but just it worked dragged through. to the floor. Smart move, I think, from Duncan because as much as everyone in this building is loving it when they stand and trade with each other, you can only do it for so long before you tie yourself out or before you get knocked out. So it was a pretty smart move to see him take this back to the ground and maybe just finish this round in top position and put an exclamation point on it and make the judges think, okay, Brooks is the slicker striker. Brooks, Brooks looks like maybe a bit around, well rounded, more well rounded mixed martial artist, but at, I've won this round. At the end of the second round, we are the only people not on our feet. That is almost. Almost true there. There's a fantastic second round. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Real beautiful stuff. Brooks taking big, big breaths. This is what we came to the Alona Hotel to see, Steph. You can forgive him for being tired. I mean, he's just been through two rounds of absolute war. Thanks to the night sponsors, we've got Hush Nightclub, Geo Thompson, KO Arts, some beautiful pieces from Geo. Production here tonight brought to you by Share Fight. Great Jace. production company. JCH demolition equipment hire as well. All these guys made tonight possible. Thanks very much to them. And as ever, the most professional of mixed martial arts referees available in the UK, I think outside of the UFC, MMA officials. Check out MMAofficials.co.uk. These guys know the game inside out. Third round about underway. Last of our sponsors, of course, is Almet Doors. Thanks to all four guys for their their help tonight at FFC. As we round go into three, the last round. round three is underway. Kevin Brooks in the black Velitudo shorts up against Mark Duncan in the black, blue, and white trunks. And Duncan, it's been a hell of a fight so far. Duncan just saying to Brooks, "Let's do this. <laughs> this is awesome." Oh, good body shot. Oh, and and knee, and and that's gonna hurt. And he follows up with a And he'll shoot for the takedown now. Kevin Brooks doesn't come off for him. There is an awful lot of fantastic 60 kilo, 62 kilo fighters, bantamweight fighters at the amateur rules rule set in Scotland. But I tell you what, I am comfortable in saying these two are some of the best. Yeah, it's certainly the most exciting. Two of the most exciting fighters at this weight and at this level. You've got guys like Scott Malone, a fantastic judo player. You've got Dean Begg, but, but you've got to say these guys are right up there with them. Choke attempt here from Duncan again, but again no hooks in, very unorthodox style. And he's got him, he's tapped him out, oh, unbelievable! Goodness. It looked like it was over the chin to me, but it couldn't have been, it couldn't have been, it must have been enough. Remarkable stuff from Duncan, he must be a very strong fella. Wow. You have to see. And quite rightly celebrates with absolute passion, that is a fantastic win. Yeah, I mean, it's not for us to call, so I don't even want to kind of go one with the other. What I would say, is I think it's important to give it to someone who, who would benefit the most. And I don't know how you make that decision. It's a difficult one, but um, uh, certainly that's been the, that has been the individual performance of the night, I'll have to say. And um, against a real good opponent. Exactly, you know, he threw it down with care, you know, carefree abandon, just went for it. Wasn't scared of anything or anyone. And it was great to see. Nice show of respect from both guys. Real good fight. Both should be so proud of what they've done there. We don't decide the awards, but fighting the night for me, hands down. Okay.